Welcome to Fort Park Oktoberfest 2021. And to start off the day, we went straight on the swarm, which is still as good as ever. Then we went across to do the Congo River Rapids. After a very underwhelming ride on the River Rapids, because nowadays you do not get wet on them. I haven't been on one in ages that have actually got wet on the River Rapids. And you know, water rides, that's what you go on for, to have a bit of fun. But yeah, I just think River Rapids are just a little bit overrated now. But anyway, next up was the Stealth. And I'm doing it this year once again. And no, I do not have a death wish. It's just quite fun. The main reason you go to a theme park is to enjoy the attractions. However, at Fort Park, there's an added bonus, as Heathrow is very close to it, meaning you are going to see a lot of aeroplanes. Then we went to do a few rides that we've never done before at Fort Park, and the first of those being the Walking Dead the Ride. Now, there's a lot of hype around the Walking Dead the Ride, and honestly, I was very underwhelmed. With it. it wasn't that good that I thought it was going to be. Um, when we were in the queue line for a lot of rides on this day. A lot of them were breaking down. Uh, and the same for this one. We ended up waiting like over an hour. Just for this one. It was advertised at like 20 minutes or something like that. Which was apparently really good for that ride. I like the bit where you walk in. And then you see it on the screens. The CCTV um, getting hacked of course. And the theming's really good, it's just the ride itself, when you actually get to that bit, it's just, it's just underwhelming, it's not that good, it's not that scary, um, that's just my opinions, let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. One ride that I thought was absolutely brilliant though, was Devon Brown's Ghost Train, this has to be the best Ghost Train I've ever been on. Basically you go in, the uh, Devon Brown's there, on like a pre Called screen talking for a bit then you go through to this other room um, and it's quite interactive all throughout really asks you a few questions of course there's a lot of you in the room so it asks like three questions for you to remember a few things um, and I can't remember them right now so good thing they didn't ask me but anyway then you go through to the train and it's really well themed and everyone's rushing you to it because it's like a big um, surge and then you go into the train, you put these uh, VR headset on with earphones. And then you watch, uh, you, know, you sit down for like five minutes and you watch and listen to what's happening. Everyone else on the train as well, by the way, has that as well. And um, it's really good. I won't spoil it for you. But then after then, halfway through, you get taken off. Um, and then you go to this room. Everyone has to line up and there's all actor zombies running around chasing you trying to scare you and then you have to walk through another corridor to get back on the train but in a different place and it seems like the train's actually moving but when you get off it, it like seems like you're at the same place so it's very confusing how they've done it but very clever at the same time but I honestly really rate this and it has to be one of the best ghost trains I've ever been on if you haven't been on this at Fort Park 100% get it done because it is brilliant absolutely brilliant in we go so as you see there you go in and the lady asks you to uh, stand up against the wall and take a photo no smiling very serious of course, and then you go on one of the screens uh, and type your first name um, to, you know, connect the picture of your name. And then this is all being timed, by the way, so that's why they have to all rush you to do it. And then you go into this room, and once again, it's very, very well themed. Your face and everyone else's faces start coming up around the room. Uh, it gets hot, and then it's basically a big maze uh, after that. 
but once again I recommend doing it it's brilliant not as good as the ghost train but it is still up there it's really good uh, all of it is thought out really well the theming and everything but yeah it's, it's really good <laughs> is welcome out there. Yeah? You know, you walk past the gate, what do you expect, mate, yeah? Anyway, sorry to everyone else. We had to cut that one short. I'm pleased, I'm pleased. That doesn't mean you can break the rules though, unfortunately, yeah? But you are more than welcome to carry on helping yourself to Navarre. And this was a turning point in the day. Me and my sisters have just come off, saw the rider, as you can see, that's what saw looks like. And then my sisters wanted to go on it again, so I went to go meet my parents. And as I just sat down at the table with them, because they were watching the show, my parents get a alert on one of their phones that the car door is open. So then I peg it to the car with my mum. And then, of course, I'm a little bit faster than my mum because she's not got the biggest legs and then the security see like running and they're asking why am I running basically saying that there's something's happened to the car so then they start following so it's like a mad chase to the car um, and then of course then go to the car and we see these people running off so it's quite obvious something happened the security then go chasing after the people that have uh, um, obviously been in the car otherwise they wouldn't be running away and then we get to the car and you see half the doors are open and uh, the driver's door lock is completely broken so that's obviously where they've got into lucky enough my dad puts a steering lock on the wheel so no one can move it unless they have the key to the lock which is very lucky otherwise they could have taken the car which would have completely messed us up for the way home we wouldn't have been able to get home but strange part is when we actually get to the car and have a look at the bags in the back they're all open but they haven't taken anything which is really strange I always keep a clothing bag in the car uh, like spare clothes in case we go on a water ride and get soaking so I can now obviously change I'm not soaking for the rest of the day that's all open but nothing's taken and that goes for most of the other bags as well so they've obviously had a good nose but just haven't decided to take anything which is really weird and to be honest guys the security are not that bothered there they say it happens quite a lot so like we're not the only ones um and you know that's quite concerning to be honest the security aren't that bothered because it you know it's a regular occurrence so you know it, it, they suppose it's okay to happen in a way then but you know it's if it's a regular occurrence then guys if you're going to Fort Park be careful otherwise it could be a lot worse for you recommendation is do not leave any valuables in the car uh, otherwise something like this could happen to you but a lot worse so lucky enough no one got hurt lucky enough nothing got taken but the lock got broken so that's you know still wanting to repair that so but it could have been a lot worse you know rather a lot gets broken than someone actually gets hurt the security by the way didn't actually catch them but we ended up getting 10 fast track tickets because um, of the inconvenience but 
to be honest, it shouldn't be happening in the first place. And by the way, in case you're wondering, well, you know, if they taken it, if they took anything, then they could check CCTV. No, it's only the entrance and the exit from the park. Um, you know, the gates. We're told that actually is covered from CCTV. So not all the car park. So if they did take something, it wouldn't even be on camera. So we couldn't actually catch them. So this is how they're getting away with it, guys. Just be careful. And it's a warning to you all to be careful when going and parking in Fort Park Car Park. Of course, though, we tried to get on with our day as best as we could. Of course, though, that was always going to be in the back of our minds about the car. So we had a security guard who was, like, standing near it, keeping a monitor on it. But, you know, I'm not too sure if he was actually there the whole time because when we got back to the car... The security guard that was, he, he said he was meant to be uh, staying there, looking over the car to make sure no one was, uh, you know, going to try and break in again. He was nowhere to be seen. So obviously he only stood there for about five minutes, probably walked off, had a good rest of his day, and wasn't really too bothered about what was happening in case someone else's car got broken into. You know, you know, it could have happened to anyone. Obviously, you know, though, they're not too bothered. But anyway, after that, we went on Nemesis Inferno. Let's go. I didn't feel like doing Colossalus all the flat right there because basically the Colossalus last time I went on it it really killed my neck basically so that's why I didn't want to do it again I didn't want to be with a headache for the rest of the day but yeah I did it last time didn't fancy it this time And somehow, in the last hour of the park, before it closed, we managed to do three rides in one hour. Complete mad rush. Basically, first up we went on Storm Surge. And by the way, they take their time loading people on, don't they? <laughs> and when we got on as well, the bottom of the um, boat, basically, where you put your feet, is literally a pond. I'm not even kidding or exaggerating by this. I will shoot uh, the trainers where like they have these little air holes on. It doesn't even matter. If you have flip flops on or them or any trainer, you got, your feet are going to get wet. They were actually telling people to take their shoes off. I didn't actually think it was going to be that bad of a deal. Clearly it was. So next time, before I'm going on there, taking my shoes, socks off. Or I might wear my wellies. I haven't decided yet, but... Probably still get wet with them on as well. We then managed to race it to the swarm to get that done. And then the third and final ride of the day was Tidal Wave. And we didn't just do that once and get a, a few sneezes uh, after the side effects of that. No, we did it twice and got a flu for a week. Wowzer. So as you can tell, we've got a little bit wet on the tidal wave, just a little bit. Just a little bit. As you can tell there, you had to go on twice just to get a little bit wet. Maybe three times to get soaking, you know, it depends how you feel really. But that did conclude our day at Fort Park, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. It was a bit of a roller coaster one, literally. 
But, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. So guys, it's been an okay day here at Fort Park. It's been, you know, good because it's fest, but of course, uh, the car did get broken into, which is obviously not good. But I think we're all good. Um, and yeah, that's going to conclude the vlog here from Fort Park today. Hope you've all enjoyed. If you have, do drop a like and subscribe. Let's see the next one very soon. Um, it's been a bit of a mixed one, but hope you've enjoyed. I don't recommend parking in this car park. And if you do, make sure you don't have any valuables in the car, because, yeah, today could have been a lot worse. Thankfully it wasn't, but things like this happen. Some sick people out now were in this world, uh, so you have to be careful. But, uh, yeah, it's been good. Oktoberfest, not as much vibes as last year. Last year was so much better, but it's Oktoberfest, and it's still a good day. So thank you very much for watching. Today's top comment is Meme Central. Thank you very much to everyone who has commented on the videos recently. And for your chance to get top comment on the next video, just leave a positive comment down below on this one. Thank you all very much for watching once again. I hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.